So this is what I got, KHL K2 Basic Plus 1750 PSI, the cheapest model from this brand, cost only about $99. So let's get started, let's unbox this product. This is the spray lancer, this is the nozzle that you can adjust whether it is soft or hard pressure. And this is the trigger gun. Pretty light, not bad at all. This is the main console, the high pressure hose. I think the high pressure hose, the length is about 4 meters. It's not long, but should do the job. There's the power cable, is the handle. And this one, I believe the coupling elements for water connections. And a manual book. This is the detergent suction hose. As for me, I don't really need this, so I don't want this to hang around. There you go. So the main console is on. Locked. Give a little bit push and twist. Easy. Ready to go. As you can see, after months of dry and rainy seasons, concrete tile start to build up some dirt and it's very hard to clean unless you have a special tool to clean that up. Let's see if the high pressure wash can clean this. Not bad, but the thing is, you have to get really close to get the pressure right, to get rid of the mold or dirt from the concrete tile. So for 1750 PSI, I think this is okay, not completely to my satisfaction, but it does the job. Okay, now let's try to get rid of this algae, the green algae on the concrete path. See if it does the job. Well, it looks good but it's not perfect. I still can see a few dots of the green algae. Yeah, I guess this is just okay. Is it because it's already absorbed inside the concrete path or is it because the pressure is not strong enough to remove the mold? So let's let's give another uh, pressure if we can get rid of all these green dots on the concrete path. Thank you. 
yeah the green mold still persists so it's really hard to remove very disappointing actually You know what I think about this pressure washer? Not bad, but it's not great either. For $99, it's good value for money. Although you can get a cheaper brand, which is some unknown brand. But I'm happy with this, uh, although it, it's just okay. Need more pressure, definitely. I have to get really close to the object. But positive opinions, um, it's good value for money for DIY or some gardening works. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment. Or you can ask me any questions you have otherwise see you next time ciao Hi, it's me Giorgio. Welcome back to my channel. And we're still on the lockdown period. So it's nothing much we can do, but I try to make myself busy. During this stage for lockdown, can't really visit our local warehouse unless you have a special pass that you can get in. So let's see if we um, can go in. Stay tuned. Bunning is currently closed for retail customer during this stage for lockdown. Only customer with trading pass can get in. Since I have a trading pass, I'm gonna try to go in and get my stuff from Bunning and quickly get out of here. It's very weird working in Bunning warehouse without a single customer. I seen more stuff at Bunnings. There's a few uh, tradies that just come and go 